What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going over the Demon Hunter Impale Strafe build for Season 27 in Diablo 3. Now, we made a previous build that was our speed build, but we found a new one that's even faster. This really, really cool build, which has three different versions, guys. Okay, this is going to be the new and improved speed build for Impale Strafe Demon Hunter. So let's go over a couple things, and then we're going to get in and do a really nice GR for you guys as we do in our videos. And then we're going to go over all the gear. Okay, so we made a few changes here. Everything is going to be over strafe and impaling, but let's get in here. Let's do a GR and then we're going to go slap. Okay, so let's just do a GR 100. Actually, you know what? Let's do a GR 105 just to showcase how good the build is. All right, so the whole idea here is you want to be popping impale. You're going to strafe. You have shadow. Uh, what is it? What is shadow power on the whole time. And then all you're going to do is just constantly spam your smoke screen. And you're just going to try to fly around the map as fast as you can, okay? Every time you get Vengeance back up, it should have 100% uptime. And then you're going to want to uh, get your preparation going every time it comes up. But that is it, guys. The build is really easy to use. There's nothing too crazy about it. This is far superior uh, to our last and previous version of the build. In the old version of the build, we had a lot of resource issues, especially with our discipline, and even sometimes our hatred, which just kind of sucked and made the build very clunky, very like unreliable to use all of our abilities. And as you guys can see, oh, oh my god, huge lag. What the heck just happened? But as you guys can see, we uh we do just do not run out of resources ever. Okay, we don't run out of resources. You just don't see it happening, even though I'm spamming like some of our other abilities like Shadow Power again. You do not run out of resources at all, which is huge, which really was the main problem for this build, okay, originally. Although the Guardian, like we had Guardian set on there, and that was really, really good and very strong. It just wasn't optimal for the build to be consistently powerful and just be able to destroy everything non-stop okay running out of resources on this build is very bad especially when the majority of the time when we get our hatred back is from our impales happening so that was not good so we got a new and improved build we changed it all up and we're all set we made a couple of changes here that are a little different so but as you guys can see the build's really lazy again you could like throw on a movie throw on netflix and chill you can throw on your favorite streamer and just have a have a fun time blasting okay man we're getting oh man we got like a really good floor to end this end this rift fantastic and you're gonna see us absolutely slap this uh like this guardian is just gonna get flexed rift guardian just gets flexed oop i didn't mean i didn't mean to grab that sorry okay all right guys i'm gonna see you back in town to go over the build all right, guys, we're out of the rift now, back in town. We finished the 105 in two and a half minutes, essentially. You want to try to get the, the runs around two minutes on average. We did a 105 in two minutes. It was absolutely crazy, you know, so the build is very, very strong. So let's get into everything that you're going to need. Okay, so we made some changes here that are different from the last one. We were running Guardian set along with the, I think, just five here. Yeah, I think we had to run this, and then we swapped out our uh, shoulders for Mantle of Channeling, which is now in the queue. So those those are the main changes that we made to the build, okay? So what this does is it help us keep our resources basically at full the entire time like we talked about, okay? But you are going to need five of the six pieces for the Shadow Build because everything is through Impale here, which is fantastic. We paired it with the Crafting Crimsons for that cooldown reduction and resource cost reduction, which is huge for the build. Okay, we got the Warzian Chain Arm Guards, which is going to help us get a little bit faster around the map. Okay, and then we paired it with Squirts Necklace for double damage. And then we have Convention of Elements. And then we have our Elusive Ring for damage reduction. COE for more damage. Okay, into our weapons and quiver, you have Holy Point Shot, which gives us uh, two more knives and deal a crap ton of damage. And then we have Carly's Point, which is the main thing that you need because every time you impale somebody who's already impaled, you're going to get 15 hatred back, which helps keep this pumping so that way we can constantly strafe. All right, our legendary gems are Bane of the Trapped, which is fantastic. 
Okay, we got uh, Taeguk for more damage and armor. And then we have Zaya Stone of Vengeance for more damage as well, especially at the longer distances. Okay, so that is the gear. Let's get right into the stat priorities, guys. So in the helm, you're going to want crit chance, dex, and then impale damage. Your shoulders, you want dex, area damage, cooldown, resource cost reduction. I really wish I got a better roll on the area damage, but it is what it is. Our gloves, you want dex, uh, dex, crit, crit, cooldown. We wish our vitality was crit damage, but you want dex, crit, crit, cooldown. Into our chest, you're going to want dex, vit, all resist. Our necklace, you're going to want crit, crit, area damage, but I have dexterity in its place. Our arm guard, you're going to want the corresponding elemental damage, which in this case is lightning, with dex, vit, crit chance. Our rings, you're going to want crit chance, crit damage, and then area damage. Uh, but we got dex and then the same thing over here area damage crit crit and then in our pants you're going to want dex vit all resist and then boots you're going to want dex vit all resist impale damage and then in a holy point shot you're going to want the corresponding elemental damage dexterity attack speed impale damage and then you want either area damage or cooldown or resource cost reduction one of those three is fine I just happen to get the crap roll as far as the increased hatred, but one of those three will do just fine. On our Carlace point, you want the cold damage. I don't think that changes unless you want to re-roll it. And then the 10% damage, uh, dex and vit. So this is a really good roll on an ancient Carlace point. So we ended up putting our power, which gives us the strafe on our holy point shot, which is probably the better one unless you wanted to do COE or maybe squirt. So those are the stat priorities, guys, for our build. We got diamonds in here for more defense and then uh, what is that a topaz for resource cost reduction as much as possible into the cube we got dawn because we want constant uptime on vengeance mantle of channeling for more damage and damage reduction royal ring because of the two different pairs of sets into our skills guys we got impale ricochet which is the lightning one which i think is the best for speeds although i really like chemical burn but we're going to go over those things in a second we got a uh, strafe rocket storm again guys if you really feel like you're low on hatred change this to seethe but uh or excuse me not seethe but change if you feel like you're not going fast enough you could actually change that to uh strafe drifting shadow which i actually kind of like instead of the fire damage i'm actually going to swap that now for the build uh and then smoke screen special recipe uh, we want this to be special recipe instead of displacement because we want to be able to constantly spam it and the cost discipline reduction instead of it being what 12 uh, we go to eight which helps us just constantly be able to spam this without losing any discipline because we don't have a whole lot of discipline in the first place shadow power shadow glide you're gonna have you can pick whatever rune you want but with the full set you're gonna get all the runes uh preparation focus mind to gain more discipline over uh 15 seconds and then vengeance dark heart for damage reduction into our passives guys we got tactical advantage for more speed blood vengeance for hatred uh and discipline regen and then ambush for more damage and then call of the week for more damage if you really feel like you're not moving fast enough you can change this one but you need the damage so call of the week it is for 20 percent more damage those are the skills and passives guys now let's get into the couple things that we changed again guys we ended up swapping out our arm guard and shoulder pieces belt and pants okay we were running a mantle of channeling in the shoulders we were running the guardian set and our belt and bracers and then we had the other uh set or what the fifth set piece for the shadow mantle in our pants okay that wasn't effective this is the better way now there's three different ways to run this build so let's talk about that right now you have the the set that i'm running is lightning for speeds lightning is just the best because inside of your impale you have ricochet which throws two more knives addition in addition it ricochets to two nearby enemies so you deal even more damage when you're hitting multiple targets and you're hitting them again. So Ricochet is the best for speeds, although I really like Chemical Burn, okay? So you can run Lightning for speeds, which I think is the best, followed by Fire and then Cold, okay? Fire and Cold, I think, are going to be the two best for pushing high GRs. So you would swap out Lightning for Cold or Fire. And again, when you do swap this out, 
I have it swapped out with the corresponding uh, arm guard, so then that way I have the elemental damage because we have impale at 41% and then lightning will be 38. If I swap this to cold, now my cold is 39 because it's just slightly better. And if I go to fire, then fire is 40. Okay, so having the corresponding elements so that way we deal is most the most amount of damage as possible is the way to go. When you do this too, you're going to swap to chemical burn and then you're going to swap to over penetration with ev whichever element that you're going to run. Okay, physical is the absolute worst. I don't even recommend running that in any case. So if you want to make any of those changes, depending on your element, feel free. But those are the only changes that you're going to you're going to do and there's three different ways to play the build they're all good they're all fantastic now i would say as you're building this if you haven't built it already go with whatever the game gives you like if the game gives you cold then rock cold okay because you want to do the most amount of damage as you can okay if you don't get cold fine don't get cold uh you know it is what it is but go with whatever even if you get physical rock all physical until you get a change okay so do that and that, you know, that way you do the most amount of damage. But those are the three different ways to play the build, guys, with the three different elements. I wanted to bring this all to you. I call this the Chidori, uh, and this is the speed one because I'm a huge Sasuke fan and Atachi fan for lightning. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video today. I really do hope that this helps you guys out with your impale speeds and kind of, you know, get you through farming for other classes that you're going to play. This is mainly what I use it for, so... Thank you guys so much for uh, watching. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe, guys. I really do appreciate all the love. And as always, guys, stay gaming. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.